Yo, what's up guys? Mr. English, Jojo English from House of Joseph Co. and uh, channel Jojo English 85. Uh, thank you for joining in. Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to talk about a couple of things. But first, I wanted to talk about the success of these branded bags. Um, they're really, really dope. And uh, if you would want some for your business, I would highly suggest this uh, over other alternatives. And the reasons why I say that is because you have other alternatives where you can get like clothes tags and, and stickers and things like that, which is not bad. Um, you can, those things are really cool to include in your orders. But these, these right here, these send a message when you're actually sending um, your your actual uh, products to your to your customers. You know, it's more personable. It looks a lot more professional, and it kind of lets them know that you're serious. Um, but anyway, these are pretty great. If you want to find out more about them or get a discount, check out the link in my description for Sticker Mule. You'll find it. These things are awesome and well worth the money. Trust me. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about a couple of things that has been bothering me a lot. I know this is kind of taboo for a lot of people. It's going to make a lot of people upset, but I really feel like since this whole coronavirus thing happened, a lot of people are going to take advantage, uh, you know, of certain things, which is nothing wrong with that um, to a certain extent. But when you're capitalizing um, off people's uh, suffering and misery, I kind of feel like that is um, a very not right thing to do. Um, so let's get into it. So I want to talk about masks and why I never got into the game of trying to sell masks. So I work in the healthcare professional. Um, I'm a healthcare professional. I work in the healthcare industry and I've done so for a very long time. Um, these are the two types of masks that you're going to see on the street. The medical grade mask which you should be wearing uh and then you have the you know the uh let's see if we can get that focused then we have those which are the you know everybody's making them they're pretty cool they look good they look fashionable um and it seems like right now that's what everybody thinks about that's what everybody cares excuse me cares about but as a medical professional i don't understand the need um, of why people want to wear the, the homemade cotton masks. Um, from a medical standpoint, it does absolutely nothing for you. Um, at the very least, at the very least, it will protect others uh, in a certain radius, I guess, uh, from, from catching what you have, if that makes sense. But the thing with the cotton mask is it doesn't, it lets a lot of the, uh, the bacteria um, and stuff that you breathe out every time you take a breath and exhale, um, it still lets goes through that that uh, that material. So it doesn't really help on a medical from a medical standpoint. What you would want to get is something like I showed you. They have like usually three different levels. This is a level one, I believe. Uh, a level one would be better than the equivalent of using a cotton mask. This is actually going to trap uh, allergens and bacteria that come out of your mouth. Um, but they're only good for one-time use and when I mean one-time use up to you know uh, up to eight hours eight to twelve hours after that they need to be thrown away they're no good now they have a level two and a level three when I go to work I wear a level three um, and the level three mask protects you not only from other people but it protects them from you so it's a lot stronger but again it only has a use time uh, of eight to eight to twelve hours um, but it's been bothering me that people have been just trying to capitalize off of selling masks. It's another thing to sell. It's a pandemic. This is time to make money. And, um, they're not really, really, one second. I'm, I'm recording. So it really, really bothers me that people are trying to, you know, capitalize on the misery of others. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, there's been a lot of um, a lot of rallying and a lot of donations from people that are making the uh, the ear savers that 
actually attach to the back of this, to the back of your head, so you don't, you can save your ears. Um, and a lot of people have been 3D printing them, they've been uh, laser, uh, laser uh, engraving them, or laser cutting them. Um, and they've been doing a lot of things to, to, to donate and get these things out to the medical professionals and not only to them but to people that actually need them um, and some people are not charging a single dime for them you know it's 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 all about helping your fellow human being uh, to help save themselves right uh, but then on the other hand you have people that are just selling masks simply to try to make money um, and the thing is funny because I'm just like if you really want to protect yourself, you need to go find these. You know what I'm saying? You need to find these. This is what's really going to protect you. Not the things that look cool, that are cotton, that are fashionable. Now, if you really want to make a mask and sell it, I would suggest 3D printing one and using an actual HEPA filter that's going to actually protect you. I see people selling those. I would recommend buying something like that. Um, something that's really going to help you. Um, if you're selling something like that, you know for your time and your money of creating something like that i say go for it it's well worth it uh but definitely find something that's 3d printed that you can change your filters um these cotton masks they look cool but they do nothing for you and i and quite honestly i know people gotta make a buck wherever they can but i just really feel like it's slimy to to be selling masks to people that need masks people need masks you should be donating them if you're an online seller or you have your own business where you make crafts and you're making masks, you should include one with every one of your orders. Um, I mean, especially because a lot of people aren't actually making their own masks, like getting the material, creating it, and doing that. I understand, like, if you're doing, if you're kind of doing that, you shouldn't be doing it to really make a profit. You should really just be doing it to. Uh, to recoup your costs if you really want to help people if you're really trying to help but a lot of people are just out there to make some money uh there's a lot of youtubers out there that are doing the same thing look they don't care and and, and that's fine you know what i'm saying that's that's the way they roll but you're never going to be prosperous that way trying to build your empire off the backs of somebody else's misery and, and, and a pandemic it's just it's just messed up i mean if you're going to try to make money off this uh thing make some shirts that that are humorous and funny that you know will uplift people's spirits you know people don't need shirts to to stay uh healthy <laughs> in this pandemic you know what i'm saying masks you need to stay healthy so include one in your order just do something to actually give back don't just try to capitalize off people's misery man like come on man like we have enough going on um, I, I know when, when tragedies happen, it's a, it's a prime time to make a buck, but you know, have some integrity. Um, and if you really care about the people that, that follow you, people that are in need, don't sell them. You know what I'm saying? Don't sell them. Or if you do sell them, don't sell them to, to, to try to get rich. Just recoup your cost. I mean, you know, maybe a, a buck or two, but not something that you're, 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 you're charging 300% over the value. A lot of you people are going to um, a lot of people are going to like like Bella Canvas um, and uh, there's a couple of other ones if you if you have like TCS apparel and stuff that they're, they're making their own masks so they're not even making the mask they're getting the mask they're putting the stamp on it with some vinyl that they you know that would be the equivalent of like five cents and then they're turning around and selling the mask for you know 15 you know anywhere from five to to 15 bucks man I mean it, it it's it's out there. It's been bothering me. I just thought I would talk about it because, damn, like, I don't know. It just really bothers me that people are doing that. That's why a lot of people have asked me, are you not going to sell masks? Are you not selling masks? I was like, you will not see a mask on my storefront. You will not see me selling a mask uh, in person. I just don't feel like it's a right thing to do. And I don't feel comfortable with selling somebody something that does nothing to protect them. Um, it's an illusion. And if you are wearing a cotton mask, I will tell you this, if you are wearing something like this, something similar, right? If you're wearing something like this that's very similar, um, make sure you wash it after every day that you use it. Don't continue uh, using it, using it, using it. Uh, make sure you hand wash it, get it really damp, get some, you know, try to, try to get all the, the bacteria and allergens out. Um, you don't need to machine wash it, but make sure you hand wash it. 
with some good detergent, some uh, pour some some vinegar in there, and get do whatever you got to do to clean it, keep it clean on a regular, and uh, you should be fine. These my mother-in-law sent us. She got a whole bunch of masks made, and I told her the same thing. I was like, don't buy masks. <laughs> but she got a whole bunch of them, sent them to us. I personally don't wear them because, like I said, this actually protects you. It's a no-brainer to me. And um, a lot of people don't really understand because they don't work in the healthcare industry. So they don't really understand. They just feel like, if I have something on my face, I'm protected. That's far from the case. So anyways, I know it's going to make a lot of people mad. Probably going to get a lot of thumbs down on the video because a lot of people are selling them. But just take what I said with some consideration. And um, yeah, man, I mean, just don't be a slimy, grimy person, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's more than about just making a dollar, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, everything that you do is, 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 uh, is, is weighed and uh, calculated. You know what I'm saying? Actions are... Your actions are taken into consideration by the most high and you know what i'm saying so i said that to just you know have a clear conscience with the way you're doing things if you got stuff donate it that's the best way to uh to get through this and help people out just donate catch you in the next video peace